Well, hello and welcome back to Demodism. We're here to follow the constabulary of Demodism's build. We're back and we're building on the Sheriff airship, the really big air battleship for Admiral Skugorox, who is supporting the channel on paper. You can see behind me there is the commissioned officers in the army of Jumadism who are supporting this channel every month by a Patreon. You can join the ranks too, if you wish to, or even join for free uh, in the, um, well, as an enlisted. But in any case, as a uh, show of gratitude, we are building on this project. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go through future iterations of this particular build as we've seen it last time. And if you want to check a little bit behind the scenes in the in the uh, Dimerism channel here, you can see when I made this beautiful end screen uh, in a recently released video. It was a crazy project, it's a crazy maximalist end screen thing, and you should definitely check that out. Um, and also please tell me in the comments what you think about this end screen. By the way, you can join the Ecclesiarchy on YouTube by joining if you want to. That helps too. So here we are. This is the uh, last iteration as we saw it. We can see that we really need to add a lot of different um, well, pieces of hull and stuff like that to make this this thing go together because obviously there is just so much more we need to add to this thing to make it look like a proper uh, ship this it's well the front is pretty good looking but the rest of it needs some serious work also we need more on the bridge i don't know did we display the bridge i don't remember Let's, in any case, spawn the next iteration. For the next iteration, I decided to work a little bit on this part. You can see I've left um, a <clears throat> one meter of uh, empty air just to be able to um, make, you know, fires, um, impact damage, hash and stuff not spread too far. And on top of this sheet, I have installed some really nice anti-missile missile turrets. You would be surprised if you knew how much more often anti-missile missile turrets hit the intended targets compared to uh, anti-missile uh, turrets, uh, not non-turrets, which is just like these ones. Now they are uh, radar simulators as well, but like them uh, they will kind of uh, not hit the uh, incoming crams and incoming missiles as often. When we have them on turrets, we can aim them exactly at the right direction. I'm not 100% sure, but I think we started to outline this shaping underneath here a tiny little bit too. And I, as uh, here we have a little, that will be coming in a future iteration. Never mind. I think we need to go and check the next iteration of this build to see what happens next. Here you can see blocks are popping in and you can instantly see the beautiful shaping we have done here. So now I'm especially happy with the way we can meet the white armor over the gray meeting with the black like that. Pretty cool. Having a pretty streamlined design like this and we have started to work on the little plate where the state trooper, the observer drone, we built in an earlier episode will sit. So it will be installed there. We also installed some pretty cool lights. If we boost away here, you can see we have a nice lighting effect, having the blue in the middle to make it look hotter and some red around it to have a nice balance. I think it looks pretty cool. And inside of here, we have some uh, control panels and stuff like that, a little secondary auxiliary bridge, uh, also controlling the diff guns we have and the extra diff guns in the front there. By the way, um, between these iterations there is hours of work uh, I have been adding, so um, maybe I forget to cover some details. 
uh, but uh, we have added of course some railing here to make it look pretty cool and make stuff look really flush around the jet engines like this and the really fast turning thruster um, anti-missile missile things. Anyways, just wanted to so uh, you know that you know between each iteration um, hours have probably been passing. Uh, I also designed the bridge to be a little bit more uh, asymmetrical so it looks a little bit nicer like this. We added some lunch, we added some different cool decals like this beautiful table and chair that setup made for us earlier and yeah very nice looking and some of course a lot of custom decorations inside of there but in any case um, <clears throat> um, yes also uh, some things that not may be covered at some times uh, is that I add a lot of interior um, systems and stuff like that which just doesn't, doesn't show but when I detect we have too little of anything I'll of course need to add some uh, more power and stuff like that. Here by the way we got some vertical launch missiles going down there, eight of them in total doing some nice large damage with activator seekers. Looking pretty cool when they launch because they are backwards launching. Anyways we're gonna check that in an earlier little um, iteration when we're gonna s tiny combat test this. It's obvious we need to work on the under back side of it here but the bridge is starting to look pretty cool especially with these beautiful bolts I added in as the interior. Here we have iteration number 30. The iteration number 30 has started to get some nice shaping in the back side here making everything go together. We've added some lamp systems, covered up that laser turret so it has full reach from behind there. And uh, we've continued to adding together the hull on top of here, added some more decorative bolts and stuff like that. I also decided that here will be the kind of entrance for uh, prisoners, so we are going to add that in later iteration. So we'll have a little prisoner holding cell. If I forgot to mention that, we also added some anti-missile, uh, anti-well um, cram cannons here. This is of course um, some diff guns, diff anti-munition warhead guns. They're not called flak anymore. If you missed that. And ladies and gentlemen, here we have the thirty-first iteration of this. Sheriff. The Sheriff, our battleship, has now really started to take shape. We've added a metal plating or um, alloy here, with, backed up with some wood in a nice good shape that will definitely stop any incoming plasma damage from reaching very far, which is nice. So I really like these little shapes here and added some good rings to it, some nice connection rods, and I think this shape altogether goes very well. It was really difficult to make all these shapes fit together, and I had to use some secret mimics to even make it work. <laughs> In any case, we add a little tiny fin here, you might think it looks silly, but on this we have some decoys, and the good thing is that when stuff target these decoys, most of them will miss, but when they do indeed destroy this, all of this will fall off, which means that um, none of these decoils will then take any engine power. Uh, and it's also outside the ship, so th uh, when an enemy accidentally aims here, they will most usually miss, but also have basically no risk of hitting anything important, which is a good bonus. We have uh, some continuous fire plasma here and here if that wasn't covered before <clears throat> and stuff is starting to look pretty cool let's see if I missed some details I think I added some more detail in the front here making everything look a little bit cooler and inside of here I think well I didn't add the emblem yet well that will be in the next iteration but I want to show you here 
is that we have one problem, one serious problem we have to solve on the Sheriff, which I will tell you is fortunately solved on the next and last iteration for this video. So here you can see when the Sheriff loses power, anything happens, it gets damaged, it has some troubles and starts to dip down and hit the water. Well, what's happening with all of these custom jet engines? We're desperately trying to get up of here. But can we even do it? Well, to uh, give you the answer to you directly, uh, basically not, because uh, these jet engines are never going to go to, uh, over the water surface and thus, thus they will never generate lift and thus this thing is now a water displacement vessel, which is of course unacceptable. How are we going to arrest enemies to the army of Jimidism with our constabulary when it's in the water, when we want an airship? Exactly. Let us present the 30 second iteration. And I should actually tell you that there should actually be a 33rd iteration, but I kind of saved over the 32nd um, when I was building it. So I kind of missed that. Very sad. But um, um, so we'll have many more steps included in the next iteration, basically. And there we have it. It's popping in here. This is the 32nd iteration, the last iteration for this video. So more details have of course been added, we added some nice stripes and um, we have added the beautiful, not the state troopers, this is the, the uh, officers. We added the officer fighter jets. We have four of them on this uh, carrier system. Now the emblem from the army of Jimidism needs to be added back uh, to them here because we had a sad little um, update where our Discord links doesn't work for hosting decals anymore. Uh, but fortunately we uploaded them to Imgur, but of course we need to replace all the links manually uh, wherever we have placed them ever, so that will take some time. But I added the new link to this thing. If you're in the army of Jimidism, um, if you're not, you can even, you can of course become a commissioned officer, but you can also self-assign Matrus third class and you get access to that Discord channel. And in that Discord channel, um, you'll have links to um, uh, all the decals um, on Imgur. So you can go to the page and use them for any AOG theme project if you like. In any case, we have a lot of cover here. This is of course the uh, state trooper, the observer drone being parked and nice back there just fits just like that of course very intentional here we have the top of it and the armors go together very well we even have this outside be somewhat walkable and we can go inside of here no problem the uh, bridge is looking absolutely stunning the only thing needed to be added is some lights i think um, and then, um, I talked about before, we need a holding cell. You might thought it will be here. It's not. We'll have something else here later. But here it is. This is a direct port. And uh, it's the same on each side. A direct port to the prisoners so that they are not able to get outside of this system and will be kept inside of here for further processing. Now, uh, as you may have noticed and from the depth, we have very few uh, bots or humanoid shapes uh, that we actually need to have in holding cells. So we don't need a lot of holding cells, but we need a couple of them at least, of course. Um, the most enemies in From the Depth are indeed uh, copies of brains stuck in boxes. And you, if you wonder what I'm speaking about here, well, then I might reveal a very weird truth for you. Did you, do you see this brain here? Let, let, let me find... There, here we have a good angle. You see? That's what I'm saying. There are brains or copies of brains stuck in boxes. So when we meet any offending uh, brain in a box, we can of course just uh, separate that box from the ship and stack him for further interrogation. 
Uh, but if we meet any humanoid shape or anything that can be stuck in a box like this, well, we have... Uh, how many is it? 12 of them or something? Something. Which is uh, probably enough. So we're going to fill in that corridor and make it fit a little bit better later. <clears throat> and I talked about uh, that we needed to fix whatever happens if we get into the water. So we're going to boost up our engines. And we are going to um, very unintentionally accidentally glide down in full speed to the water. <clears throat> Except... Um, this happens. I'm pressing downwards. I'm really trying to force it to go down into the water. But, um, well, basically it just won't. It, ju it just won't. If we lose power so that we can't uh, fly well enough, it will just... I can even go slower to get a sharper angle. This. Come on now. And we're just trying to force it down. Look at that. Now we all almost <clears throat> can force it down. I think this angle might be a little bit too sharp. But if we just leave it like this, if we say it uh, gets stuck like this, it should eventually right itself up. It's starting to go up again. I haven't touched any controls. And look at that. And it goes up again. And you might wonder what is making this system not be as sinkable as it should be. Well, frankly, we have a smart little system inside of it. And if you played from the depth or made a hydrofoil at any time, you should probably be familiar with it. Because it just bounces back like that. Uh, so. If I'll just do like this, and do like this, and we'll go inside here and check. Well, here we have a pretty large rudder. We have a smaller little rudder in the front here, and we have an auxiliary extra rudder uh, in the side somewhere around here at the bottom. Let's see here. Oh, there it is. And these rudders help this ship not be stuck in the water basically it bounces back when it goes too close so that is very valuable uh, now when we are at this last iteration for this episode we can check and see that the cost of this is of course insane 3.6 million and that's because we have a plasma based system with really big bellinous plasma guns which we built for a commissioned officer uh, in an earlier episode or was it the stream well, you'll need to check that out in any case. Watch all my videos. <laughs> uh, the block count isn't that high. It's uh, 67,000. But um, of course it's more dense. We're having a lot of wood in this because uh, we want to keep it light and fast. Uh, and also we want to mitigate the damages from uh, Hesh uh, if we would meet that. So we have a thin outer layer backed up with wood. But wood is the best health point per material, so that's not bad in the case. Um, and if we turn back the hood on, you'll see when we are boosting this just forward, we are making this go a steady, well, it has a top speed of 111 meters per second, which is pretty insane. This thing is so much faster than it should be, <laughs> but it has a really sharp angle cone going forward just like this. This is a broadsider by the way. Now um, on my system the vehicles keep a little bit out of bounds sometimes when we go too fast but there is not really anything we can do about that. It just does that. This thing somehow got damaged. Anyways we should now be testing this thing just a little tiny bit. Of course, we need to add a lot of more systems. I'm not sure if I forgot to cover any specific part on this ship, but um, just to just see 
what happens when we spawn it in here. So perhaps we'll just spawn a Megalodon, because that's that's good dead weight. Now um, fail saves and stuff like that needs to be placed, of course, because we haven't done that. Uh, some of the damage we take, we might deal ourselves, since, well, we haven't set up fail saves and turret rotations properly yet. But in any case, you can see we have some big plasma systems doing some damage. And we have the laser systems going on here, of course. We have a broadside laser, which is pretty sturdy. Now let's see here. The Megalodon is down to 92 percentages. And here we can see the, uh, the missiles. They're dropping down like that. They're turning in the air. They're not backwards launch anyways. I kind of thought that. Oh, and they're going for the decoys, aren't they? Too bad. Well, that's uh, good when we have decoys, of course, but... Um... Oh, and here we have the broadside. The laser broadside has gotten reach. Look at that. We got some big plasma shots popping in there. And we have a plasma. Uh, broadside cannons, which is basically charge guns. Pretty crazy stuff. But the Bellinus plasma turrets, they have an insane cost, but they also do insane damage to um, compact systems. If they hit heavy armor, they are in uh, their optimal um, setting, basically. Look at that. The laser is pretty big, it's just frying away. Um, oh, and the ridge disappears. And um, we'll need to set up some AI and ma make it be more properly working, of course, because we do have some issues with um, the charged plasma systems not really hitting the enemy, which is, of course, completely unacceptable. Now, I'm a tiny bit unsure what happened with our aircraft. I do think that the Megalodon has uh, ways to target uh, aircrafts. So uh, that is, um, well, I think they already maybe fried them or something. Megalodon down to 86 percentages. Now we'll reach much better results uh, when we have the final version, of course. Oh, look at that. Here's the plasma charge plasma system. So the plasma charge system, the broadside cannon, you saw those purple balls of um, plasma just popping in there. They're absolutely crazy. And here are they. These are the charge plasma systems. And um, they basically have one shot, um, but they deal a lot of damage. As you could see, like one shot, one of those shots actually took out uh, a turret. One thing that uh, <clears throat> the um, sheriff does need is barrel detection. That hasn't been added yet. So if you think it's a little bit inaccurate, it's because, uh, well, it's not able to be inaccurate. And the combat maneuvers isn't set up either, really. So it's... Um, it's not getting its best angles yet. So just a little quick showcase of what these um, weapons can do. No, I just wanted to set up a nice little angle which we can see this thing from. Yeah, because for now, this little episode is indeed um, over. You'll be back with us uh, next time, uh, which um, is probably going to be building on the Sheriff Deputy, the Alpha Striker. And uh, uh, we now have transformed the Sheriff into a carrier, which is of course the uh, 
um, goal, as you saw in the first video. There is a playlist of this series if you want to see the whole uh, constabulary project. But in any case, um, the sheriff deputy is going to get um, equipped with some torpedoes after um, the request of Admiral Scoobrox. So we're gonna add that too, so it can deal with the airborne targets. And no, I mean uh, under marine, marine, submarine. Well, I obviously can't speak anymore, so it's better to end this episode. But uh, submarine targets, it uh, needs to be dealing with. So the deputy is going to have some uh, more things like torpedoes. Anyways, I'm just rambling on. Hope you liked this video. Uh, tell me what you think about this end screen I just made and watch the making of it if you want to see some behind the scenes content. And other than that, I'll see you next time. This is your host, Jimenez Manimor, officially signing out. So, see you soon. Bye bye.